oil prices have risen for three consecutive sessions despite a strong dollar and a fears of global recession, which are dampening oil demand. WTI crude is trading at $109 a barrel and Brent at $112. Prices are down slightly now as investors are eyeing the European Union's plans of an embargo on Russian oil. If implemented, the move could further restrict global fuel supplies. Global financial market also spooked by concerns over interest rate hikes and extended COVID-19 lockdowns in China that are suppressing demand in the world's second largest economy. On Thursday, the blue chip Dow Jones index lost more than 1,000 points and the tech heavy Nasdaq lost more than 5% in the worst single day drop since last year. Bitcoin has also fallen below a key support level of $34,000 following the sell off in US stocks. Now, to try and make sense of all this, let's bring in Han Tan, Chief Market Analyst at Exinity Group. Han, many thanks for being with us this morning. First of all, Han, I really can't get my head around the fact that, you know, um, first of all, oil is rising despite a strong dollar. At the same time, we've seen this morning it's actually uh, slightly falling, and that's even as investors are eyeing a potential EU ban to Russian oil. But I mean, isn't that supposed to sort of tighten global oil supplies and obviously if that were to happen and hence make the price grow even further. Indeed, you're right. So the thought of further supply disruptions has sent oil prices soaring and it's what's keeping oil prices above that $100 per barrel mark. But keep in mind that markets rarely move just in a single direction, right? So, uh, and for oil markets right now, not only do they have supply risks, they also have demand side risks that are weighing right now. And I'm speaking about the ongoing lockdowns in China that's feeding into concerns that demand around the world may not be as robust. And also you've got Saudi Arabia trimming their prices for their cargoes for Asia. So markets are digesting some of that, hence the easing oil prices as we speak. Right, and we've seen what's happened on Wall Street on Thursday and Friday. We'll see what happens with the session um, today in the US, not only in the US. What are you expecting on that front and the stocks and bonds front? We've seen what uh, Paul Tudor Jones have said. And do you agree you cannot think of a worse financial environment right now? Yeah, indeed. Well, I would say that markets certainly have a lot to contend with. Uh, you know, the era of easy money is uh, uh, fading into the rear view mirror. And we've got the prospects of not just high interest rates of and perhaps sticky inflation as well. And so that ramps up the uh, stagflation risks or even a uh, full on recession. Uh, granted, the Fed doesn't think so. The Fed thinks that they can engineer a soft landing while achieving its inflation targets. Of course, you have to convey such a tone to the markets, but given the sell-offs and uh, some of the movements in bonds, I think there is a healthy amount of doubt that the Fed can actually avoid uh, sending the U.S. economy into a recession. Right, and one last question on Europe, because um, Christine Lagarde made it really clear that uh, she thinks inflation in Europe is a different beast uh, compared to what's happening in the US and the UK. For instance, what do you expect the ECB to do um, for the rest of the year? Will it follow suit? Um... Yeah, I, I think they have to follow suit, especially if the um, EU does press ahead with the ban on Russian oil imports. That would only, uh, and given the Eurozone's reliance on Russian oil, I think that will only send inflation surging. And, uh, you know, perhaps uh, 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 to take a page out of the BOE's book from last week where they signaled the risk of a recession, I think those risks will be more amplified for the EU, especially if the Ukraine conflict persists going into next year. And Tan, many thanks for being with us this morning for your analysis as well. My pleasure.